Guna TV, Albert JTV. Um, another disappointing game, another loss. Um, I know he was playing against Manchester City. But what do you make of the game? I mean, I felt it was just, we just don't seem to be getting anywhere. Um, the game went exactly how I thought it would go, to be honest with you. The only difference was City were in third gear instead of fifth gear. Um, <laughs> the line like training game, Jim, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, the lineup. I, I expected. Um, I said I wasn't too kind of bang on about who was going to play, who wasn't going to play. But I said I'd I'd expect about four changes, so there were five. So I was like, okay. Um, the first start, yeah, City. Like Gary Neville said, man, brutal warning me. Even before the goal, it, it, the goal was within the first two minutes. They had, they had a chance before that. Yeah. What 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 I would say, right, and. This is what I'm saying when I say to Arsenal fans, your, your, your eyes don't lie to you. Like, we can't be gassing these players up. I'm looking at that first goal, right? Rob Holding seen Sterling before the cross has come. He's seen him. He knows where he is. So he's thinking, there's two things that's going to happen. If I'm in the right position. If I miss the ball, my right back is going to cover me. Didn't happen. So you're thinking, so how is someone who's five foot seven, who's not renowned for scoring headers, gets a free header with seven yards out. So you have to look at the Arsenal defence for that. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, we kind of, the last 10 minutes of the first half, mate, uh, we was a little bit better. We've got a bit of a foothold in the game, but City, even after they scored the goal, they could have been two, three, up, two, three, three, you know what, mate? Yeah, Sterling could have had a hat-trick in the first five minutes, couldn't he? <laughs> he could have got, and Gundogan had a chance as well. Yeah, he did, yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say anymore. I mean, yeah, you can say City, but I, I think I feel that that's irrelevant today in terms of it's the same crap we're seeing. There's no progression. There's no there's no transition from defence to to attack. Um, I, I can't see it changing. And we've we've got Leicester away in the league next, and I fully expect us to get absolutely slapped. Mm. Yeah, I mean the thing is, I, I hear what you're saying because this is the thing we only seem to really penetrate from one side of the pitch. I mean, it, it took for Kieran Tierney, who's been out for two, three games to give us something. Him and Saka were the only sort of, I uh, could have what, bright sparks to even look like we was going to do anything in the final third. Um, I should, we'll probably come on to Aubameyang, so I'm not going to say too much, but you might bring him up. But um, yeah, the first half wasn't great. I mean, there's a point at one point, City had 70% possession and you're, yeah. the, away, and you're the away side. We only had one shot on target the whole game. Yeah, I mean, and even with that, Ross, you have to tell me who took that shot because I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, <laughs> I, think it might been, I think it might have been Saka. In, in the, it was in the first half. It might have been when he, he shot and it hit Aubameyang, who was offside. I, I, I can only assume it's that one. I generally cannot remember who took the shot. When I saw the stat, I said, is this a joke? Because I don't remember us having a shot at goal. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's the same old stuff. It, it's... It's picking the wrong players. It's putting players on the wrong positions like Pepe. Why he puts him on the right, I have no idea. Um, it's still a, a, a build-up play that's, that's miles too slow. Um, I mean, people are slagging off on, on Bamiang, and I get that. But he's got no service. I don't get it. You know, I, I can't see going forward how this is going to get better for us. Um, the, the thing is, yeah, when I looked at that, I thought it, this has to be this has to be tactical from Arteta because I don't get why he would start Saka on the not saying Saka can't play on the left because he can, but I I didn't really get that switch. But I, unless, it, like I said, unless it was tactical, that's the only possible explanation I can think why Pepe was on the was on the um was right. on the right and Saka was on the left. But yeah, also were a bit better in this in in the second half. It's a bit more even. But then was it because it was a bit more even or because City would could take their foot off the gas. Like I, 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 the training game, yeah, yeah. Like I said, they was in third gear and the substitutions, mate. I, I, I'm I'm sorry, but I know you said about Batman not getting the service, Ross. But today again, man. Like, I mean, Alex got summed it up perfectly. We should describe these Batman's performance, and it goes to show again, mate. Like. When, when you're playing that system, people can talk about City and possession and, you know, the 18 game, which is fantastic. But I'm looking at it in isolation in terms of if you're going to be playing as the main striker, 
you've got to be doing a bit better than that, that better than that, mate. Because when you do get the ball, you need your main man to bring other people into play. But is he saving Lacazette for the Europa League? I don't know, mate. I don't know. I mean, I, why doesn't Martinelli get a game anymore? I don't get it. He came back from injury. He was absolutely superb. And he hasn't, I don't think he's been on for about four or five games now. Maybe no. one self appearance. The Villa game, no show. Leeds didn't get a game. Benfica, what, 15 minutes um, today? Nothing. The subs, I would have took off a Bamiyang and put on Lacazette. And if you're going to take off Pepe, put on Martinelli. To me, they were the two obvious substitutions. I, I, I was like, why would you? Yeah, I don't know why. He would, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Lacazette, I don't think Bamiyang did anything to stay on the pitch, to be honest. I think, he, to me, he was a natural person to come off. Yeah. No, I, I totally agree, mate. He's, he's been, apart from that, actually, he's been absolutely woeful this season. Um, the only the only saving grace for me is that we didn't get hammered and we didn't... I don't mean he didn't put William on, did he? Um, no. <laughs> I he think there's a conspiracy theory going around that he's got a, written his contract, he has to play unless he's he's injured a real or, or something like that. I don't know. But, but, um, but Ross, that's the thing, mate. I, I don't know you want to keep me too long, but... Um, and you've got other fan cams to do, but... I think that's the problem, mate, because people are going to initially say, we, we lost today, right? Oh, he's only 1 0, you know, at least we didn't get battered. That's to me, that's a standard thing, bro. That's what the club's done to us. We played City, like, last four Premier League games against City. Ross, we haven't scored, mate. We haven't scored a goal. Oh, it's gone. I've got you, I've got you back, man. Yeah, I got you. Can you hear me? Can, can you hear me, Ross? You still there? Yeah, I can see you, man. Yeah, you're moving. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah, no, yeah. Four last four like four Premier League games against Man City, man. Um, we ain't scored a goal, man. Zero. Yeah. I'm looking so, forward, what? mate. Looking forward. Got Benfica and a Leicester away. Um, I can't see us getting anything anything good happening in Leicester away. Um, Benfica though. We should progress, shouldn't we? What's your thoughts on, on the upcoming games, mate? With, with Benfica, with the Benfica game, for for the players, they've got Benfica, Ross. I expected a much better performance from them in the first leg. I, I was quite surprised yeah, how too. negative they were. But um, this is the problem when you don't bury the first leg time, man. We've put ourselves in a predicament. Um, if you used to ask me what the lineup's going to be against Benfica, I haven't got a bloody clue, mate. <laughs> no, I haven't because I don't know. I don't know what Ateta is going to do, man. Um, Changes it too much, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I didn't have an issue with the... F I actually thought it be four changes, like I said, but he, he changed five people today. But um, he's got a big decision to make, mate, because, like I said, is he resting Is he resting Martinelli and Lacazette for the Europa League? Because we know he's not Ross. So, yeah. I don't get it, man. Yeah. I know. And Leicester... Sorry, and Leicester Mate, we haven't got a good record there, mate. We ain't won there since, was it they won the league? Was it 5-2 um, at their stadium? Sanchez scored a hat-trick. I think that's the last time we won there, mate, in the yeah, league. Yeah. I mean, you're right, mate. I, I can't see anything than them slapping us like 3-0 when, when we get to their place. It's, um, I mean, I, I was bringing up on like some of the other guys that people are on about, you know, we're going to make Ryan uh, permanent. they got the other goalkeeper, um, Sabios yeah. permanent. And even try and get Odegaard for either another year on loan or, or signing permanently. Now, my issue with that is we've already got those players in the squad and we're 10th. So how how is actually buying them going to make us climb up the table like 8th, 6th, 4th and up there? It's, we're going to still be where we are. Yeah, with, with, with the Odegaard thing, I, I said it last time. I, I'm not going to say too much, Ross. Like, we'll, give, we'll, we'll give the guy to the, the time that he's got here at Arsenal. I'm not going to talk about signing him up and all that rubbish because we did that with Sabias last season. But in regards yeah. to um, Sabias, no, I'm not. I don't want that 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 move to happen at all. I've been very consistent with what I say about Danny Sabias since he's been at Arsenal. Um, I wouldn't pay 22 million pounds from at all. I saved. I, I would. I would put that money towards other areas of the pitch or a player, a better, a better, more mobile, creative player than him. Then to waste that money on him and keep him at Arsenal. I, to me, it makes no sense. Yeah, me me too, mate. I, I totally agree. I mean, £22 million for a, for a player who hasn't exactly been tearing up trees sounds mm -hmm. like a lot to me. 
Mm. But um, just finish off with me. Who is your um, your man in the match? Well, that's that's slim pickings, mate. <laughs> to be honest with you. Now you know what? Ooh, like, people know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Saka did okay, but I would I have to give it to Tierney, man, because he was one. He's our only attacking outlet. Two, he's Mister Consistent when he plays for Arsenal. I mean, the guy's been that for a while. He's, he, like he said after the game when he got interviewed, he said he was knackered. You get bring you get brought back in against Man City. He had a tor- he had a tough time in the beginning against Mares was on was on a bit was on was on fire, but he, he did all right, man. He like he's been out for a while, but yeah, Tierney absolutely. <laughs>